Hello everyone and welcome to the first part in this challenge to scrapbook 100 photos in one evening. So I was showing you the sketch there that I'm going off of and these are the first three photos I chose. And so I, um, everything is coming from the little kit I made of scraps, um, scrapbook paper that I show on my blog. And I try to stick to the sketch as best as possible. And I'll show you at the end, I did time every single layout. Um, I had my, um, I wrote down the time I started as well as when I finished. And um, I just cut out, I edited all the parts of me um, cutting and trimming all the paper, um, but they were all 12 by 12 sheets to start with. Nothing was pre-cut. And so these three photos um, were of my kids starting school, uh, go, spanning across three years. And so um, it's just kind of an annual, I guess you can say tradition that when they first start school, I take a photo of them on the first day, like most parents do. Um, but then again, these were photos just sitting in a box and I didn't um, have any other photos from those days. So I decided to put them all on one spread to show um, the tradition and show how my kids have changed each year. So um, I try to keep my layout simple because of this challenge to get 100 photos done. But this is where I deviated and this is where I lost a lot of time. Uh, when I wanted to add the ink around the edges, this wasn't part of my little kit. I didn't have any stamp supplies, um, but I just felt that this layout needed it. These papers were just blending or too flat on the spread. So I did kind of lose some time here doing this little added um, detail. But um, again, I learned as I kept going uh, through this evening to try to stay as close as possible to the sketch keep it simple so that way I can keep on moving. So um, as you can see, I didn't make very much progress yet um, on this layout. And I'll have the times at the end of each layout of how long each spread took me and how many photos I got done at each, um, each layout as well as each evening. So um, again, <laughs> this little me being overly um, <laughs> perfectionist and um, inking up everything now that I started. So again, that was a little time consuming, a little detail, like I said, that took time. So I'm trying to follow the um, sketch as closely as possible. As I mentioned in my introduction, I don't follow sketches exactly. I don't measure anything. And as you saw, um, my sketches weren't even to scale or anything. I just roughly got a layout of, you know, photo goes here, photo here, and you know, where the title goes, things like that. So that's kind of how my mind works, just to get the basic layout um, in my head and then try to work from there. So again, <laughs> adding the ink to the edges because now that's something I felt I had to do on everything. And again, it took time. So these are some um, stickers that I put in the stash because they were craft. And so I started to add the year using these um, what do you call them? These square kind of um, numbers. And I actually covered, I had it digitally on that photo, but I didn't like the way it looked, so I just covered it up. So then I wanted to add these different numbers on this photo. Um, so I tried to make it match. So again, I used the same label sticker, but then I was gonna put those different um, number stickers on it. And I don't know why I chose to do that, but I had enough numbers on my other sticker sheet but I guess I just was in the mood just to, okay, let's just go. And I, these were the first ones closest to me. Um, so, but I end up covering it. <laughs> so um, I move on to the third one. Again, inking up the edges of the label. Again, a little time consuming detail there. So now I just had a spot on this third photo to add the year again. And I went back to those number stickers I used on the first photo. And then after I put it down, I realized how off that second one looked. So I tried to peel it up and it wouldn't come up. And so fortunately I had one more of these labels that was exactly the same, so I just put it right on top. And then I put the um, year stickers on top of that so that it all matched. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, but um, it looks more uh, united as a spread. So now I'm gonna add my title. And so these were all letters that were in the bin that I chose to try to use um, in this kit. 
So I'm just adding the title here. And then um, again, I just started to, add, to try to add some embellishments, which were not, I didn't add any embellishments to this little kit. And so I went digging in my stash and that's again where I lost some time on this um, layout. It took me a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, but again, it's just me trying to learn how to do these layouts more quickly and keep them simple. But again, I didn't have anything pre-chosen. So when I went digging through my stash, trying to find those dots and things, it just took time. So um, I learned a lot doing this first layout. Um, so um, hopefully I continue to get better as this challenge moves on. So here's the first layout. I did add some journaling, as you can see. And here I'll give you the data. I got three photos done and it took me 27 minutes to complete. So on to the next spread, I did the same evening um, or my same session. So here I'm just showing you which sketch I'm going to use with the photos that I had. So that's kind of how I choose. I just see what size photos and which orientation they are and which sketch would work best. And so I'm just leaving in a little bit of here my selection process. I like to put the papers right there and see which one I like better. So I chose this one, this black and white. So I cut it down there. And then again, um, let's see what I do next. Oh yeah, so I cut down another piece. So um, this one, st I stuck to black and white theme, as you can tell. Again, these are more photos from 2013. So I felt that these photos needed a mat. So again, I just used the same paper. I wasn't too particular about having a solid black mat using cardstock or anything. I just used this piece of paper that I had left over from my cut. And so I put them all on it so that I could use up the, pa the paper and have minimal amount of scraps. So there they are all matted and I like the way that that frames each photo. Here's some more label stickers from, um, I believe they're Teresa Collins. And so here's some chipboard alphas and I do add an adhesive behind each letter because they don't stick. So again, that's another time consuming little thing um, using these chipboard alphas. They just don't stick and you need to do this extra step of adding adhesive to each. So again, another lesson learned of if you're trying to make layouts in a hurry or quickly, these chipboard alphas just are not the best for that. So I did kind of lose a little bit of time there on this layout doing that. So sticking with the black and white. And then I dug through my stash again and I found some of these uh, word stickers. And again, that took some time. They weren't in my little kit again. I just was digging for some embellishments. So um, I do like the little pops of color that they do add. Um, and again, they're just a little detail because these layouts are in general going to be very simple. So um, these little pops of word stickers, I think were the great addition. And I'm glad I found them somewhat quickly. So here's another label I'm using. Um, the sketch had a little embellishment cluster up here. So that's what I'm doing to match the sketch a little bit because it did feel a little bit plain over there as well. And so here again, um, some enamel dots and shapes that I had in my um, little drawer. Again, um, they weren't in my kit, so it did take some time for me to find those. And so here's another little detail I wanted to add. I just taking my marker and outlining the paper. And this wasn't um, too time consuming, but it is a nice little detail and it's much faster than trying to mat all of these papers. So just drawing a line helps, I think, give it a nice edge. So I did that. And then just going through some more um, of my enameled stickers and I just wanted to add a little bit more um, detail. And pops of color, I like the way that those add that. And then no real journaling on this page, but I just put um, the year. And that will finish the second spread. So here's the details on this one. I got three more photos done and this one took me 28 minutes. 
So on to the next for the first session. And this is the last layout I get done in this um, session. And so um, again, I showed you what sketch I was going for and just started with matting my photos because it's on a pattern background. And so this one, I just, um, I was trying to follow the sketch, but I found I was feeling a little more in the mood to scrapbook now that this was my third layout for the evening. And so I started to get a little more creative and I started to deviate uh, from my simple ideas. <laughs> and um, this bright um, floral paper was kind of calling me to use and I just really <laughs> was trying to use it and as my layers and I struggled a little bit um, because I was trying to match the sketch but then the pattern was kind of bold and so it was just giving me a little bit of trouble in the beginning to get this layout, um, these layers chosen and how much of the pattern I was going to show and how I was going to lay out the photos. So even these photos now, they don't match the sketch. Um, the sketch had the photos directly horizontal of each other. So I just started to deviate a little bit and my little scrapbooking mojo was in and I was just kind of trying to be creative. So again, once I deviated from the sketch, it started taking more time. <laughs> so here um, I'm adding the title on some white scraps, um, piece of paper, which was readily available. I added some alpha stickers and I cut it in a banner shape. And then again is where I deviated from my kit and I introduced stamping um, because I didn't have number stickers at the right size and color um, to put the date. So I ended up stamping it. And I just hand wrote this little label of where this event or where this photos would take were taken. And here again I dug in my stash to find these old rub-ons. These are from Studio Calico years and years and years ago. They still work wonderfully though. I didn't have to put that much pressure and they still have vibrant colors, um, very good quality. Um, so anyways, um, again, that deviated from my kit as well, took time to find them. And um, once I had my enamel dots though, I kind of added them to my kit. So looking for enamel dots won't take me time anymore. And then um, to finish it off, I started adding again the border around the entire paper just because I just felt like it needed that border. And then I just hand wrote my little kind of journaling here at the bottom. And that will finish this spread. And so um, I'll show you the details here. Got two photos done and that one took 33 minutes. So overall for my first session, I got eight photos done and it took me an hour and 28 minutes. So stay tuned to my next session. Bye.